Okay, well, we're here at the Heritage Air Museum. Uh, Tom and Andy brought the airplane down on uh, losing track of days here. Uh, Thursday morning, and I stayed behind uh, in uh, Prestwick just for a little take a break because it's going to be a pretty hard run from here on in. Uh, we uh, the, tr the whole trip is over 100 hours total time, so we have to do an inspection on the airplane. And the folks here at Coventry, uh, they're restoring a project that you can see back here. We'll walk around here a little bit. Uh, this airplane's called Night Fright, and they had hopes of getting it to D-Day, but as you can see, um, that's not gonna happen. But they were kind enough to let us use um, their hangar and uh, get inside. So uh, Ray and... Uh, Tom and Andy and I are uh, hard at it here working on an inspection and uh, we just did a hundred hour inspection 30 hours ago but we have to do someone one somewhere on this trip and since we had such an early crossing it made sense to do it early rather than wait till the end and do it uh, we'll give the airplane a good look over before we press out uh, across the water coming back but uh, so far um, haven't found any showstoppers at all. Everything looks good. We got across with uh, essentially no squawks, and that was encouraging. So here we see Tom and Ray. They're hard at it. We've been fighting with this break. You think we got it figured out, Ray? I think we got it. Yeah, we've been uh, struggling with the right brakes, just been a little bit soft, uh, and we found a little oil in there. We got that all cleaned up, and hopefully that will solve the problem. We think maybe it's some wheel bearing grease. We're not sure, but... Uh, we uh, checked for leaks, we put it together and pressurized it, left the parking brake set, and uh, no oil came out of it, so it's about gotta be a little bit of excess wheel bearing grease.